Hi everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook group and how to invite people to that group. So on your Facebook homepage, if you go to the top right hand corner here where the arrow is pointing down, you just click on that and click on Manage Groups. You can then say Create Group in the bottom left hand corner here and you can fill in the name of your group. So I'm just going to go with We Love Cats. You then need to invite at least one person to your group. So you can either invite one of your current Facebook friends or you can enter the email address of somebody you know. So I'm just going to invite Joe to my group. Then you need to select the privacy option for your group. So Facebook has three options. The first one is public where anyone can find the group. They can see the members of the group and they can see what's posted in the group or closed where people can find the group but they can't see who's in it and they can't see what's been posted in it or secret where only members can find the group, see who's in it and see what's posted in the group. So I'm going to go with secret and click create. Okay, so here's my group. One of the first things you're going to want to do is upload a cover photo. This can just be an image that represents what your group is about, or it can include some details about your group or information about upcoming events. I'm just going to include a photo that kind of depicts what the group's about. So I'm going to select a photo of a cat <laughs> and make that my header image. Okay, once that's done and you're happy with the positioning, you can just click save. Then once you're done uploading your cover photo, you can come down and include a description for what your group is about. So I'm just going to say this group is for people who love cats. You can also include some group rules. So um, rules include uh, one, you have to love cats. Two, uh, don't sell any products. Three, no rudeness. So you can just include some rules there about how you want your members in your group to behave and you can click save. You can add locations. And then there's a whole bunch of other options. So once your group gets going, you'll be able to monitor your members over here. You can add events, which will then appear on a calendar over here. And you can moderate your group. You can schedule posts, approve notifications, things like that. But we're just going to stick to the basics for now. So then when it comes to inviting people to your group, once again, you can either enter their name of someone you are friends with on Facebook or their email address. And you can also add a note here if you'd like. So you can add a note as to why you are inviting them to the group. And you'll see that Facebook will also start suggesting friends here and you can just click invite member. Another little trick is, I'm just gonna open a new tab here. If you'd like to connect your group to one of your Facebook pages, you can then invite everyone who has liked your page. So if I go to pages over here. So if I come to pages and I come to my page. And I click on groups at the bottom left over here. I can then link a group. So I'm going to say link group. And I can then link We Love Cats to my Facebook page, which will then mean I can invite people who have liked my Facebook page. Some additional best practices to keep in mind when starting a Facebook group is to number one, know the goal of your Facebook group. So why are you starting this Facebook group? What is your niche? Who's gonna be joining the group? What products or services are you going to be promoting? Or what is the reason or the function for the group? What type of interaction do you want to have with your members? Um, how can you make them interact among themselves? So really try to think through all of these things before starting your Facebook group. Number two, try to give your group a catchy yet effective name. 
So if your goal is to have as many people join as possible, try to include some keywords in your name that people on Facebook will be able to find um, or that your group name will come up when they search certain keywords. If the aim of your group is just to have a handful of members that you are going to invite personally, then obviously your group name doesn't matter too much, but still make it a catchy name. Number three, choose the right type of privacy for your group. So again, that ties in with the reason you are creating a Facebook group. And you'll then need to choose either the public, closed or secret option that we went through in the video. So basically just know what the reason is that you are creating the group and then choose the privacy option that coincides with that. Number four, know what content your audience is going to want ahead of time. So kind of have a plan of what posts you're going to start publishing before even creating the group. And obviously these will be targeted to the members of the group that you want to invite or kind of your ideal members that you hope will join at some point. Treat your members like a family and engage with them as frequently as possible. So a Facebook group is obviously way more intimate than a Facebook business page, for example. You're interacting directly with the members that are part of that group. So be sure to recognize the people that are interacting often. You could do a post congratulating the people that are most active within the group. Um, be sure to take part in conversations and comment on posts where people are asking questions and really kind of nurture the intimacy within the group. And then also depending on the reason you are starting a Facebook group, um, obviously if it's just to have a handful of people, this doesn't apply to you. But if it's a group that you want to consistently grow with new people, you could boost your organic reach via word of mouth. So get the members within your group to invite other members or spread the word. And you can also include the link to your Facebook group in, your, in an email to your email list. So if you just grab the URL um, at the top of your Facebook group page, then you can just link to that from an email that you send to your email list. And you can constantly kind of be inviting new people to your group through your Facebook page or through people that you're just friends with on Facebook. And finally, monitor the metrics on your page. So kind of see which posts people are engaging with the most, keep track of the demographics of your audience and obviously replicate the posts that are working the best. That pretty much sums up starting a Facebook group. I hope this video has helped you and good luck with getting it going.